peacock and parakeet acrylic painting tutorial by hot pink zebra paper and i know i said tutorial for this video but it's almost more of an overview than it is a tutorial i'm going to go through and explain what i'm doing but not in as much of a detail as i might normally so i have the painting sketched on my canvas and i'm just going to go through and i'm going to just paint the background with a coat of a lavender color behind where the tail feathers are going to be i did not really care if the paint was streaky or anything because i knew there'd be so much on top of it that any little unevenness would be easily ignored and so then I'm just going to go through and detail around the feet and over the bottom area I did make sure that that was nice and opaque and clean looking and then around the parakeet and so now I'm going to put a dark purple spot around everywhere that I want there to be at the eye of each feather and so I think I did 72 feathers when I went back and counted so I'm just going to show you how I did one of the longer feathers so I first just added with cream the quill and then I'm going to go through and I did a dark purple that little eye spot and then went around that with blue and green and then around that with some brown and some charcoal and then around that with a bright green and then with slightly diluted dark green paint i'm going to be adding texture to the eye of the feather and then adding some more of those barbs going out and around that and then adding ones that are a little more spread apart going down and as you're getting closer to the body make sure that they get a little smaller and then add some gold highlights here and there in each of the little bits of the feather and then blend some charcoal down the center of that quill just to darken it so then for the smaller feathers once they get closer to the body just shrink them down a little bit so they're the eye isn't quite so big and so decrease their size progressively as they get closer and closer to the body just so that you know they kind of gradually shrink down because these ones are less developed as than the ones that are farther out so now I'm going to be painting a couple of those little flight feathers that stick out beneath the tail so I'm just going to add those nothing too detailed nothing too extreme just some browns and now I'm going to be adding that bottom feather so to start with it's basically the same thing quill eye some green and stuff but the one thing that is different is they have more of that it's denser of the lighter green around that bottom edge like you just saw so just add some more of that bright green and then a little more of the dark green before you add the texture and then these barbs that's just going to fill that area in and it kind of they have that around the very outside of their of the, um, the train as well but you don't see that because the feathers would go up and beyond the canvas and so i just you see it at the bottom there so then to add those little bits of body feathers that are sort of a black and white that you see first i painted the area with a cream and then i'm going to go through and outline each feather with some charcoal colored paint and little dashed lines then do a little shadow and then add some black lines on them and just like that and they kind of blend together re-establish the cream lines add some diluted white little dashes in there to texture them white highlights on the edges of each feather so then for his back feathers which are those really pretty bright iridescent green i'm going to go through and just paint that whole area bright green just like that and then with a dark green i'm just going to outline where i want each of those back feathers to be and once again as they're closer to his body as they get like the base of these back feathers they're going to be significantly smaller than as the ones that are getting out closer and farther away not closer and farther away just farther away so just increase their size and make them a little bit more square shape than the ones towards the bottom are a little more either rounded or like a triangular shape they're just a little different looking so then as you get out to those outer ones just like that just outline them just so that you know where they are this isn't too it's not like it's set in stone at this point just an approximation so now i'm going to be doing some shadowing and highlighting on each of these individual feathers this was extremely time consuming so i'm just going to add another layer of that bright green over each feather and then add some yellow on the top of it and some more like a grass green at the base of it just to make each one a little bit more deep and as I'm doing this, I'm also really thinning out those green lines that I painted earlier. So that, that, the dark green outlines around each feather, I'm just going to go through and thin them out almost to the point of painting over them entirely. Like I said, they weren't like a permanent thing. It was just so that you know what you're doing. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of a brown inside each of the bigger feathers. So this is almost all of them as they get closer to the body. I did um, they, that part doesn't show anymore but all of these ones out here, you do want to add just a little bit of brown, and then I highlighted them with a little cream and then added some charcoal um, on the little sides of them a little bit, just to give them some depth and some color variation. And then inside the very largest ones, add some blue. So that's just on a couple of them. And then using some more of that really dark green that I used for the barbs on the other feathers, I'm going to go through and texture these with just some really fine little lines and then add a nice dark, edge to each feather with a dashed line with this dark green so just make a whole bunch of little lines right at the top of it just to thicken that area up and really make them defined and then highlight them with just a couple little dabs of gold on each feather 
And so now for his legs, I'm going to start out with a cream color like I've been using for a lot of things and then blend in some charcoal on the side of it. You're starting to make the little shadows and highlights here and then do the same for the toes. And bird's legs are so prehistoric looking like right now it's almost like they've got these scales. It's like different patches of skin. I'm just going to add those with some browns and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to outline them with a couple little bits of charcoal color paint and just add all those pretty much little scales on their legs. I know when I look at my parakeets, her legs, I love her feet. I love animal feet. It's like I love looking and playing with my kitten's paws. She doesn't like it so much, but I enjoy it. And so then I'm going to just um, add some shadows on there with some more of that charcoal and then paint their toenails with brown and then some cream and some charcoal just to highlight and shadow those. And then I'm going to add a little white highlight along the leg and then a black shadow underneath it with diluted, diluted black paint. And then for the little bits of feathers on their thighs. I just did that with some cream and then some charcoal and white blend that together. Really simple. So now to paint my body or his body, I guess it's not mine. I'm going to use a combination of like a, a deep ocean water blue, a true blue, a sky blue, some dark green. I'm just going to blend it in. All of a peacock's feathers are also iridescent and color changing that the shadows and the highlights are much more intensified than they would be on something that was that didn't have that light play. And so you really want to make sure that you have nice depths and changes in there. So with a fan brush, I just have diluted black paint and I'm just going to go through and add some little bits of texture here and there. And then on his face, I have I switched to a little brush and I'm going to be adding little feather details. So I'm just going to go through with little dabs of color to really make those feathers stand out on their face with some other with lighter shades of blue and some greens and some white a little bit just to highlight and then with his for his beak um, cream charcoal black and white are the colors that I used for that blending them together really deepening that nostril making sure that's nice and intense and then adding the little bits of white skin around his eye almost like a like a snood on a turkey all the time I'm painting this, I keep thinking in my head how similar a peacock is to a turkey the whole time. And I also painted his eye with some browns and some grays. And I'm going to be adding the little head feathers. So I started with uh, some cream and then some charcoal and now some blue, highlighting those feathers like that. And then I'm going to be just doing little... His body was so smooth that I needed to kind of fluff it out a little bit. So I went through with a whole bunch of little blue lines just around the edge just to make it, like I said, a little less perfect looking, a little smoother, a little more natural. So just little fur details or feather details just around the bottom like that. And then I also fixed up some of those body feathers that would go over, or the tail feathers that would go over his body. And then for the parakeet, I missed the first part and I apologize. So I just painted her with yellow, um, low lighting with some green and then highlighting with white. And then I'm going to be painting her beak and her eye and all of that and adding that. And since these solid yellow parakeets are, it's sort of like a partial albino, I forget the term. They have red eyes, so make sure you give her like a burgundy color eye if you paint the same kind of parakeet, but there's so many varieties I paint in my parakeet because that's my little girl, her name is Yoke. So that is the entire painting. Like I said, these are life size. This is, I took measurements of a peacock, so this is the size a peacock is, this is the size my parakeet is, which I think is just cool. It's so amazing to see the size comparison. I thought that was really interesting. So I hope you like it, and check out my Facebook and Instagram for more art, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!